Sam here from Sheridan Computers, and if you're using PFSense, there's a new security advisory that you need to know about. FreeBSD has disclosed a remote command execution bug in the RT SOLD daemon. This is the component that's responsible for handling IPv6 router advertisements. And if your PFSense interface uses DHCPv6 or IPv6 auto configuration, then this vulnerability does apply to you. Now, don't panic. Exploiting this one is difficult, and PFSense configuration actually reduces the exposure dramatically. But it's still a legitimate vulnerability, and NetGate has published a workaround patch that you should apply if you rely on IPv6. In this video, I'll break down what the flaw is, how it affects PFSense specifically, and exactly what you need to do to mitigate it. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. On the 16th of December 2025, FreeBSD released an advisory for a remote command execution issue in RTSOLD, the daemon that listens for IPv6 router advertisements. And the problem is in the handling of the DNSSL option, the DNS search list that can be included in IPv6 RA packets. RTSOLD passes this DNSSL data without validating it directly into SBIN ResolveConf, which is a shell script that updates your DNS configuration. And if an attacker can inject specially crafted characters into that DNSSL entry, then those could be interpreted as shell commands. That's the basic idea. Malicious IPv6 router advertisement message, unvalid DNSSL entry, shell gets executed. PFSense is affected, but with important caveats. First, to exploit this, the attacker must be on the same network segment as the PFSense interface using DHCPv6 or SLAAC. This is typically a WAN and must also be able to send multicast router advertisement packets. That alone rules out most remote internet wide attacks. Second, PFSense runs RTSOLD with the minus one flag, and that means it quits as soon as it receives the first router advertisement. So the exposure window is very small, basically just during the interface configuration, and normally, the first responder is your ISP's routers. But if an attacker could spoof an RA before the ISP responds, or if they were the only device responding, then this vulnerability could still be triggered. Even though PFSense doesn't rely on the SBIN resolve conf to manage its DNS configuration, and even though the script is configured not to write files, the script still runs when RTSOLD triggers it. So the malicious payload would still pass through the same unvalidated execution path. In other words, PFSense isn't using ResolveConf for DNS, but the dangerous code path still exists. So the vulnerability is real. NetGate recommends applying a small patch that instructs RTSOLD to completely bypass ResolveConf by passing the minus R user bin true option. This replaces the script with a dummy no op binary, meaning even if a malicious DNS SL entry is received, there's nothing left to exploit. This patch is available in Redmine and NetGate has added it to the system patches packages for PFSense plus 25.11, PFSense plus 25.0.1, PFSense CE 2.8.1. The patch also applies cleanly to PFSense plus 23.05 and newer and PFSense CE 2.7.0 and newer. If you're on an older version than those, then you should upgrade to a supported release. If you don't use IPv6 on PFSense, then you're not affected. Just make sure no interfaces are set to DHCPv6. If you do use IPv6 and need DHCPv6, then install the system packages package and apply the recommended patch for your version. NetGate has already made the update available. This workaround fully neutralizes the vulnerability until FreeBSD's internal fix lands in a future PFSense release. So that's it for the breakdown of the RTSOLD vulnerability and what it means for PFSense users. So if you're not using IPv6, you can end the video here. If you are, stay tuned and I'll show you how to apply the patches. We're on PFSense Plus here, 25.11. Now it doesn't matter if you're on 2.8.1, uh, this procedure is still the same. 
So you need to go to system and patches. If you don't have the patches package in, installed, then you need to go to package manager, available packages, search for system underscore patches. Now it's not appearing in my case because I've already got it installed, but you need to just ensure that you've got it installed. So you can see I have, and there's a newer version available. So I'll just update it, confirm. Okay. So now if we go into system patches, we can see it's here. We've also got a couple of other ones. So we'll just apply these patches, click apply, 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 apply. Now you could have just hit apply or recommended. And that's basically all you need to do. Okay, so the NetGate blog does say that the patch applies on PFSense Plus software versions 23.05 and newer, as well as PFSense CE software versions 2.7 and newer. So if you have to manually install the patch, what you're going to need to do is head over to this Redmine link. Don't worry, I'll leave the uh, links in the description below. Right-click on the patch here, do copy link, and then what you'd do is go in where you've got custom system patches. We'd do add new patch, give a description. So it would be FreeBSD, uh, what is it, CVE 2025-14558, I think it was. And then where it says URL, stroke commit, you need to paste the URL in there. Once we've done that, just click save, and then you can fetch and apply the patch. So patch applied successfully. Obviously, if it's already here, like we have it here, then you don't need to do it twice. Remove that again. Make sure it's still applied. Plan it again just in case, because I did do it twice. As I said, I'll leave the link to Redmine. I'll leave the link to the NetGate blog post in the description below. So as mentioned, if you're using IPv6, then you need to apply these patches. If you're not, then you don't really have anything to do. But it's always a good idea just to check if there's any patches available and update. If you found this video useful, hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.